sun and a cool breeze can dance across your skin. Good morning. Hope you all are doing well. Metal Life, how's it going? Oops, where's my screen? There we go. Should pop up here in a second. And there it is. Yeah, so I'm off work this week. Um, <clears throat> but my wife is actually working today and tomorrow. So... Yeah, so I thought this would be a good time to get some extra play time in. And uh, I enjoyed playing on No Man's Land yesterday, so I'm going to continue working on it today. Right, so yesterday, um, yesterday we just started playing on the map, and uh, since then we've expanded the small field that we started with and uh, I created another field in the back <clears throat> or what we'll call the north field so we got the north field and the south field in parcel 26 I guess you could call it um, we also bought 25 so uh, we can do some work on that fairly soon uh, as far as soil composition goes um, let's see Let's turn the fertilizer off. Yeah, so I've got uh, mulched. I applied lime already to both fields. And uh, I got rid of the stones. Uh, and we used this contraption to turn the stones into lime. So I still have 10,000 lime left uh, plus whatever's in my spreader here. Now when I picked up the spreader I did buy I did buy a full load of lime at the shop as well because it's fairly cheap and I didn't want to run out and have to go all the way back so right so this field is covered in lime and now I need to prepare these fields for seeding so I think the next step is uh, to put down some fertilizer so I'm going to use the same I'm going to use the same setup here. Um, now one thing I want to do is I would like to find a way to store the lime that I have in here. Um, so that I can use the same... Oh, hey KMac. Good morning. Glad you can make it. Yeah, so I'd like to, I'd like to use the same spreader for lime and for fertilizer, but I don't like... I don't like dumping it out into like 20 pallets. Um, so I'm trying to find a way to, if there's a silo that I can store the lime in while I'm doing fertilizer or vice versa. And I'm not sure if there's a building that will allow me to do that. 
Um, unless maybe it's this one. Right, silo for bulk. It says it can be filled. You know, we have these these silos for various items that we can place on the farm, and you can buy to fill them, but I'm not sure if I can fill them with my own stuff. Um, so let's do a little experiment. And let's see if I, let's see if this thing can do what I would like it to do. It looks like, yeah, it looks like I can fill as well as take things out of it. So maybe this, maybe this will be the ticket. Is this the place where I want it to go? I guess it's not a bad place for it. Okay, and then let's see if we can make that look a little more realistic. There we go. Check it out. Hey, Jim Nanny, how are you? <laughs> hey, Connect. Yeah, yeah. I was explaining that I've got I've got some extra time on my hands. Um, I'm off work and my wife is not, so I decided I would do a little streaming. All right, I saw unload. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, so that doesn't work, does it? Yeah, I really don't like... I really don't like just dumping pallets that go randomly around the place. So let's pick these up again. Um, maybe there's something in the options here. Let's check. Yeah, so you can fill it with whatever you want, but that's not what I want to do. I want to put stuff in it. And I'm pretty sure I've seen somebody else do this. Um, where they use the silo to... Whoops. Where they use the silo to store stuff. Store bulk materials. And now I can't seem to select it. And there goes my screen. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. So that was a that was a five thousand dollar experiment that failed. Um, 
All right, stream's over. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It's not decoration. For Christ's sakes, this menu is really difficult to use. All right, so I guess I'm going to have to deal with the pallets if I'm going to use the same spreader. Or I can just buy another spreader, and we can use one for lime and one for fertilizer. But that's kind of wasteful, isn't it? But I think that's what I'm going to do. It'll be a little bit easier this way. Oops. Let's see. I guess I need more coffee because I'm not driving too well right now. There we go. Okay, so let's put this one away, and we'll go buy another one and fill it with fertilizer. I won't need this one for a while, actually. You know what I could do? I could just leave all the pallets at the shop. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll just dump our pallets at the shop. That way they won't be cluttering up my farm. And then we'll refill it with fert. So I'm going to put dry fertilizer on the fields that I limed. Looks like we're getting a few eggs already, which is nice. The good thing is we don't have to we don't have to use lime all that often. Right. Well, I think it depends on the crop, but I think it's only every couple of harvests or something. Excuse me while I eat my breakfast. I'll try to chew away from the microphone. Now, the other thing I want to figure out, because um, I've been watching, um, I've been watching Sim Farmer. <laughs> hey, C Black, thanks for the additional sub. Appreciate that, man. Thirteen months, you're the best. Um, I've been watching Sim Farmer, and he has been. Let's see, unload. There we go. And he's been using a roller on his fields. And he says you get additional yield. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, oh, okay, here we go, rolling. Rolling will grant an additional yield bonus when rolling over the seed bed after sowing. Oh, okay. Um, and it's also used for grass. Okay, so then I need to, so I still need to cultivate, or do I? 
Um, no, I don't think I need to cultivate uh, because the... Uh, what was I doing? Oh, the stone picker, I think, leaves me a seed bed. Okay, so that thing holds 9,000. So let's buy... Let's buy 9,000 worth of fertilizer. That's going to be expensive, isn't it? Maybe I don't want 9,000. Let's see, that's 1820 per thousand liters. 1920 per thousand liters if I use this stuff. And 1400 per 750. What's a third of 1400? Uh, about almost between four and 500. Yeah, so that's that's probably around the same price as the big bag. I guess I'll just buy the big bag. Um, okay, we'll buy eight. Um, and I think I'm also going to sell... I'm going to sell my cedar. Um, because I'm going to want to get something bigger. I think I'm going to sell... I'm going to sell my harrow as well. <clears throat> so let's sell both of these. And we'll get something different. And unfortunately I'm losing money on that stuff by selling it, but... You know... Like we said, we're, uh, we're kind of just getting started here, so we got to learn some lessons the hard way, I suppose. And I'll just wait to buy the new equipment until I'm ready to use it. I think that's... I think that's one of the lessons uh, to be learned here, because <clears throat> I bought all that stuff at the beginning with a certain idea in mind, and then my plans changed, and it no longer applies. So, so I think if I just wait until I'm ready to use a particular piece of equipment before I buy it, I'll make fewer mistakes. Creed of Dragons. Yeah, we're doing a surprise stream today. Because I wanted to play it on the farm and I didn't want to wait until Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks, Buttersnap. Appreciate that. Did it say Factorio? Hang on. Did I get the info wrong? No, it says No Man's Land Farming Simulator. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. It did say... check something here. Okay. Well, at least in my software for stream info, it says No Man's Land and Farming Simulator 22. So if you guys are seeing something different, I'm not sure why. Um, 
let me uh, let me get some music turned on here, guys. Uh, that's not it. Um, if I could remember the name of the software. Ah, here we go. Snip. That's what I need. I need Snip to put the title of the song on because if I don't have that, then I'm violating the conditions of using the music. I can make it. Off we go. Oh, and I did put GPS on the tractor as well. So we can use GPS to make sure that we don't um, that we don't waste any of this stuff. Alright, so we turn that on. Alt C and then Control S and I'll load the track. So I'm calling these fields 26 South and 26 North. And there we go. Um, I think this was previously aligned with the other side of the field. So let's just shift that over a bit. Lock in. And off we go. Oh. interesting it spreads fertilizer uh, much farther than it spreads lime it's a different width same piece of equipment that's interesting I guess the lime is heavier I mean, I guess it makes sense. The lime is probably denser and and harder to throw around, but uh, I hadn't seen that before. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. And this gets applied at a, at a much lower rate, so I think we'll probably have a lot of extra fertilizer when we're done with this. Should be able to get both fields done without any trouble. Yeah, so I think I'm going to have to check my settings on Twitch because I'm, I'm using Streamlabs OBS to uh, to do the announcement and everything. But maybe it's maybe the update is not getting made in Twitch. And we'll have to do another pass to get that little strip at the end, but we can uh, we can reduce the width, and that way we won't use as much fertilizer to get those last little bits done. And 
and my display blinked again. Um, why don't I see the option to change my width? Okay, I'm confused now. So now I'm not only getting more width than I did before, but the option to change the width is gone. I don't get it. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? On the fertilizer spreaders, or is that maybe that's only on the sprayers? Okay, I'm pretty sure I've seen it on the spreader too. I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy. Okay, let's see. Hey, Mick, how are you? Alright, let's take a look at our field state now. Alright, so there's some spots that are still not fertilized. There's some spots that are mulched. Yeah, so this field's kind of a mess. I think it's going to take a while to get it... Um, to get everything equalized. Because we did some mulching and then, you know, the mulching was, uh, well, no, I had the rocks off before I mulched it. Well, who knows? We'll get it taken care of. All right. So I'm going to go around the field and then we'll turn on the GPS and start going in rows. I'm doing good, Mick. Thanks for asking. I'm off work this week, and uh, I was telling everybody my my lovely wife is working today and tomorrow. Her vacation doesn't start until Wednesday, so I said, well, you know what? If you're busy, I'm just going to go and stream some more, because I really enjoyed playing on this map yesterday, and I want to keep going, but I don't want you guys to miss anything, so... So we'll consider this a bonus stream, and maybe I'll do the same tomorrow as well. We'll see. Hey, Osilas, how are you? Yes, yeah, so I'm really happy with the uh, I'm really happy with the farm so far. We've got a lot of land, and and we have we have another field as well that we bought, or another parcel of land, I should say, um, and we can put some we can put some really big fields on that one. Um, I'm thinking that'll probably be a good thing to do during the winter. Is uh, work on that other piece of land and figure out how we're gonna make use of it. Hey, Lanesta. Glad you could make it. Yeah, and actually, I didn't. I didn't know that I was going to be off work this week. Um, I mean, this week. This week is the official corporate holiday where I work, so most people are off work. But I was originally planning to go out of town next week, so I was going to work this week and take next week off instead. But then. Um, our plans changed and I'm not going to be traveling after all. So, yada yada yada, here I am. Okay, um, let's see. No. Alright, so I need to rotate this. 90. Let's adjust 
track. And then I'll go back and hit those few spots that I missed around the edge. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if anybody online knows, I've, I thought that we were able to adjust the width on, on the spreaders, but I don't know if maybe that doesn't apply to this one. If anybody knows, let me know. Might only apply to spreaders or to sprayers rather. I mean, how would you adjust the width on a spreader like this? I guess the only thing you could do is slow down, <laughs> uh, slow down the rotation of those discs, right? Yeah. So maybe it's not really practical to reduce the spread width on something like this. You know, or you could have shields on the side or something. But I imagine that this is mostly gravity fed too. Yeah, it looks like you just adjust the position of that plate and that controls how much comes out. Oh, okay. Slower rotation and slower feed speed. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so in game, um, in game it doesn't seem to apply to this piece of equipment. Maybe it's only sprayers in the game. Now the sprayers, it's pretty easy to see how they work. You just turn off. You just turn off whatever nozzles you don't want to use, right? I think I'm going to have to do this manually. Yeah, and I just royally screwed it up. Okay. Oh, well. The Amazon spreader is adjustable. Okay. I'll check that one out. Maybe we'll upgrade. All right, let's get all this. Oh, it doesn't do lime. Okay. Well, lime is a lot less expensive, so I guess it it doesn't matter as much with, with lime, to be super precise, as it does with fertilizer. Although I think if you're really doing, um, if you're really trying to optimize things, you might have, you might want a different pH in different parts of your field, you know, depending on how the soil is. All right, let's take a look here. All right. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure why we have all these little areas, all these little spots that are not the same fertilizer stage. I'm guessing there must have been some debris or something there when we worked the field the first time. So over time, hopefully this should all work itself out. You know, after the first, after the first crop is done. Yeah, let's take a look at that one. Uh, fertilizer spreader. Oh, okay, this one. 
Well, there's this one too. That's a smaller one. But... Yeah, and this one is fertilizer only. Holds 10,000. You know what? I think maybe I'll... Yeah, and 42 meters. That beats the hell out of this one. Maybe I'll buy one of those later on for the next time. And then I'll keep I'll keep this one for lime. To be honest, I'm probably going to want to get the bigger one for lime at some point because we're going to have much bigger fields. So, but yeah, I think maybe end game I'll have I'll, I'll use this one for fertilizer and I'll use that one for lime. Okay, so we're done with that. Oh, okay. All right, um, I'll just leave the fertilizer loaded. Um, you know what, let's, uh, let's go to the workshop and let's add the cover for this. I don't think you would want this to stay uncovered. Might dissolve and clump up. I also got myself a pressure washer so we can clean the equipment. Okay, customize. Oh, you can do narrow tires on these. Okay, let's do the narrow tires too. Oh, I can't do a cover on this one. Or maybe, oh, that's under the extension, I guess. Big. Oh, okay. I guess you need the big extension to get the cover. Okay, so be it. All right. And while we're here, let's wash off the tractor. Enough our weight, you can see the paint chipping off of it. I want to see what happens when the weight, um, I mean, the weight's already at a low maintenance state. I want to see if anything happens once it gets to zero. Maybe you just can't use it anymore. Let's hose this off too. Yeah, so we'll use this later on to apply a second stage. Well, I might not need to apply a second stage, we'll see. But that's why I want the that's why I want the narrow wheels on it, so that we don't damage the crop. All right, so let's go park this. Oh, Silas, I didn't tell you about the uh, the motorcycle racing. This was back in. I mean. You guys know that I'm not super young, okay? So, um, in the late 90s and 2000, I did some road racing uh, when I lived in Michigan. Uh, so we would race. I was in a group called Great Lakes Road Racing Association, and they would have events at Grattan Raceway and Gingerman Raceway and Putnam Park in Indiana and we went to mid-Ohio once and uh, my weapon of choice was a Yamaha R6 which was fairly new at the time and it was awesome okay so I think next we want to apply seed Right, so um, right now we can only plant canola. We want barley on the south field. We're going to use that to feed chickens. Um, but we can't do that until September. So let's do, let's do barley on the south field and we'll do canola on the north field. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, 
Yeah, and I lived in southeast Michigan where all the roads are in the form of a grid. So riding a motorcycle in southeast Michigan is is not fun at all because uh, because the roads are boring and they're generally in bad condition. So I, I didn't even have a, well, I mean, I started with a street bike for a couple of years and then I got into racing and I didn't, I didn't even own a street bike for a while. I just had my race bike and that was it. Um, I used to live in, um, in the suburbs around Detroit. That's kind of where I was raised. Oh, yeah, Osilas, if you do a track day, you will definitely get hooked. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. You're going to get hooked because it's awesome. You know, and and it's funny because, um, you know, we would... I raced for a few years, you know, so I... I I developed some skills, you know, <laughs> and, uh, w you know, we would always get like these, these new guys that would come to race, <clears throat> um, you know, and they were street riders and they would always think that they were just, that they were fast, you know, but no matter how fast you are, or, you know, how much better you carve turns on the road with your buddies, when you get on the racetrack, it's, you're just, you're slow. <laughs> so it's a very humbling experience <clears throat> to go on the track and um, you know when you're kind of new to the track and you're riding around it and there's somebody else who has been doing it a while you know and you and you're going as fast as you feel like you can possibly go and the guy's like passing you on the outside of the turn while he's eating a sandwich with one hand you know <laughs> that's how it feels uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun though. I mean, it probably the most exciting thing I've ever done in my life. Um, do I need to cultivate? No, I'm just going to go to, I'm going to seed it and then I'm going to use a roller on it. All right. So let's get a big seeder since we've got some big fields. Uh, that one you can direct drill. These are all, okay, not all of them, but these three are direct drills. I've got the power for it. Oh, you know what? I want to use the modded ones because I have the, um, I have that fertile, that tank configuration mod. So I want to use one of these modded ones. That's six meters. That one's six meters. The coon holds more. So I think it's going to be one of these two. 10 miles an hour, nine miles an hour. Uh, one needs, one needs 210 horsepower and the other one, the other one needs 270. Um, I've got 285. Okay. So I didn't go for the 305 horsepower. That's upgradable though. So I think we could, whoops, I think we could get the big one. Oh, uh, yeah, Prison City. I, I've been to, uh, I've been to Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes. Yeah, and I've been out west there a few times. Um, we would go up to Traverse City, you know, or around Traverse City. Um, what was the name of that lake? I can't remember now. Um, some friends of my brother's had a, had a cottage up near one of the lakes there around Traverse City. I mean, it's, it's beautiful up there. Wasn't crystal. I, I'll, I'll try to remember. It'll come to me. I'm going to think it began with an L, but I don't know. Leelanau. Is it Leelanau? No. Hang on. <laughs> I got to pull up a map now. Yeah, Lake Leelanau. 
Yeah, which is uh, just west of Grand Traverse Bay. Yep. Gorgeous, gorgeous country up there. Even in the winter, it's nice to be there. I mean, it's it's really cold, but it's cool. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't buy it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Doris. All right, so we're going to get the Coon Espresso. Um, and this holds 5,500 liters. I wonder if I should get the one. Oh, okay. No, yeah, it does seed and fertilize. And we can configure how much of each goes in there. Okay. 120 grand. We gotta start being careful with money because I still need to buy a harvester. Oh, um, and Jim, what's the fastest I went? Well, in terms of top speed, um, I think the fastest I've reached, according to the speedometer on my bike, was like around 140 or 150. You know, like at the end of a straight. Um, but it's really not... Like, going fast in a straight line is easy, you know? All you have to do is twist your wrist. Um, the real excitement comes into going fast through the turns. That's really the best part of it, in my opinion. All right, so I wonder how we configure this thing. I probably need to take it to the shop. All right, but anyway, for now, I'm gonna be fine with just seeds. So let's buy, let's buy 5,500 liters of seed. Okay, that's not terribly expensive. And we'll have a little bit left over. Oh, yeah, it's not going to let me hold it all. I think I do need to reconfigure it. All right. I'll use the shop here. And I think I'll upgrade the motor on my tractor as well. We'll go up to 305 on it. Needs to be repainted. 46 grand to repaint a tractor? I don't think so, Chief. Jeez. Oh, no. I don't want to sell it. I want to... change. No. Oh, a Seika. Yeah, nice. Oh, I've been to I've been to Laguna Seca too. Um but that wasn't for a race. I was I was there for a uh for a riding school. I got to drive around Laguna Seca. That was pretty awesome. All right, so I'll fill this the rest of the way and then um, I'll have to figure out how we adjust the tanks on this thing. Yeah, <clears throat> um, I, I don't own a motorcycle anymore for the same reason. Um, I mean, I, I, was, I was never a crazy rider on the street like some people are but it's just the statistics are undeniable you know 
it is definitely more dangerous to be on a motorcycle than it is to be in a car when you're on the road. <clears throat> um, and there are dangers from the other cars because of visibility. They don't see you. Some people just don't like motorcyclists and they like screwing with them. Um, and then there's also a lot of people, a lot of people get hurt in single vehicle accidents, meaning that they just crash on their own because they, you know, they go too fast into a turn or they, you know, they're going through a turn and they hit a patch of gravel or something. Um, so yeah. So now that I'm, now that I'm a family man, I decided I had my fun and it was time to hang it up. So I no longer ride. I do miss it sometimes, but it's all right. Like I said, I had my fun. Okay. Um, I need to check and see how that mod is supposed to work. So give me a second to go to mod hub. And I don't remember the name of the mod. Bear with me a second, guys. Seating options. That's what it's called. Maybe I bought the wrong one. I bought the wrong one. I think I bought the non-modded one. Ay, ay, ay. I'm dumb. Alright. Um, let's see. Turn it on. Oh, yeah. Uh, change fruit. Not unload. Pardon me, guys. I want barley. Don't I? Oh, okay. I can't do barley until next month. Okay, so we can do canola on the backfield. The north field. My mistake. Yeah, and I, I think I bought the wrong cedar. I think I bought the regular one instead of the instead of the modded one like I meant to do. So. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not... I'm not all there this morning for some reason. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep. But I'm making lots of stupid little mistakes. Okay. So we'll see how far we get with... 2,750 liters of seed.
We'll get it one of these days. Do I not need to lower it? Oh. Okay, guess not. Turn on cedar. Lower cedar. There we go. I tell ya. Okay. Yeah, going up the hills. Not terribly easy. Alright, so I'll go around a couple times and then we'll and then we'll turn on the GPS and go in rows. Yeah, let's see how we do getting up this hill here. Yeah, we're losing a little bit of speed. Yeah, this thing definitely uh, definitely consumes some power. Um I think in FS22 it, it seems like um, it seems like power has or lack thereof has more of an effect on the tools than it did in previous versions of the game. You know, like in previous versions of the game it always felt like if you have enough power to run it then you can do pretty much anything you want. Whereas here you really you really feel the weight and the load of the equipment more, I think. So we're getting a lot done in one month. We created and prepared two fields. We're getting one seeded. And then we're going to have a couple months with not a whole lot to do, so we may have to speed up time as we get there. It's kind of a tight corner. <clears throat> I should have radiused that a little bit better. Right, and I've got the time factor set at one right now, so it's we're essentially working in real time. Um, when I'm playing, I tend, well, especially when you're playing with seasons, um, I tend to do my work at one X until I'm done for the day, and then I'll just speed it up. I guess it would be more realistic just to set a faster time scale and not mess with it, and then. You know, and then sometimes you're just going to be limited on how much you can get done in a day. Which would probably be a little more realistic. What the heck was that noise? Um, yeah, I did buy a house. I got a, a little... Um... I've got a little worn down farmhouse. It's actually just a shack. <laughs> so yeah, we can use that to sleep at night. And then I also have I also have a mod installed that gives you additional speed options. So you can go up to I think five thousand times speed. Yeah. So so we won't have to if we ever have idle time, we we definitely won't have to wait very long. Just a little bit.
It's taking me a long time to eat this toast. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't like to run out of time and then like miss a growth stage or something. And I also don't like it when you have like half a field done and then the growth stage occurs and then you have different parts of the field at different growth stages. So this style kind of helps avoid that sort of thing as well. So now I'm going to I'm going to go crosswise on the field so that the hills are less of an issue for us. This way we don't have to go up and down a hill for every pass. So let's get our GPS set up. Set our width. A plus heading and we want 270 degrees and we'll call this 26 north seed there we go and then we just adjust Good. Okay, cedar on. Lower. And off we go. And I'll probably go in alternating rows uh, just to make turning around easier. So I think once we get this seeded, well, I do want to I do want to roll it too. So I think I'll try to do the rolling during this month as well, and then we'll do the other field tomorrow or next month, as it were. The other thing we can do in the winter is clean up the trees that we cut down. Because those are still laying around the edges of the farm. And then maybe we'll put in a maybe we'll put in a bio a biofuel heater or whatever they call that so that we have a place to sell the wood. Get a little bit of money for it. Um and later on, if you know, we could always do forestry later on and um, set up a production chain to make furniture. That might be interesting. Never done that. Um, and, and forestry, I, I, I don't mind doing forestry too much when you have money for the big equipment.
What? I thought I heard a plane go by. Well, I know I heard a plane go by. <laughs> Didn't see it though. I'm assuming that came from the map and not not from the song that I'm playing. Looks like I should have more than enough seed to do this. I haven't even used 10% of it yet. change some game options here. Okay, not there yet. We're going to pretend that we're in Canada and we're going to switch to the metric system. I mean... I'm happy to live in the U.S. and to be an American, but there's really no excuse for not being on the metric system. Okay, we'll keep dollars. There we go. Having KPH gives us a little better resolution on the speed. Um, yeah, thank you, Jim. <laughs> and people say, oh, it's so hard to understand, but it's like, it. I mean, it's just because it's different, but it's, uh, it's much easier to understand once you figure out how it works. One gram of water weighs or one gram of water equals one milliliter of water and it occupies one cubic centimeter I mean and there's what is it 10 million well anyway a meter I think is based on the distance between the equator and the North Pole or something like that but anyway, all the units are related, and they're based on actual physical properties of things, which I think makes it much more relevant. And if you do anything related to science or engineering, that's what you're going to use anyway. I'm an engineer by trade, so... Um, 
you know, even when I was designing parts and stuff like that, I mean, it's everything was everything was done in millimeters and grams. Nautical miles, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twelve inch to foot to fifty two eight, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and the rest of the world switched over already, which makes it even less likely that we will. You know? <laughs> Saying that everybody else does it this way is not... Uh, never works in favor of the argument in the United States. Where a lot of people feel like everybody else should do it the way that we do, instead of the other way around. So now I think the main argument for not switching is just that, well, it'll cost a lot of money. It's like, well, yeah, it will. But waiting is not going to make it any cheaper. And then they say it costs too much money, and then, by the way, here's our new $1 trillion uh, defense budget. That never seems to be a problem for anybody. <laughs> This is getting a little, this might be getting a little counterproductive around these stones. Anyway, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get political or anything. I don't allow politics on my channel. I'm just saying it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Whether it's good or bad, I will leave it up to all of you to decide for yourselves. <laughs> well, I think most of the world drives on the right side of the road. Um, I think the most of the ones that drive on the left are, um, you know, Britain, of course, and then former British colonies. Oh, in the Virgin Islands, they drive on the left side? That's interesting. I didn't know that. I suppose all of their neighbors drive on the left side, right? Like some of those Caribbean places. I know in Japan, they drive on the left side of the road. Yeah. Yeah, I went to Japan on a business trip some years ago, and... I arrived there at night, and then we got on a bus, you know, to get to the the next place we were supposed to go, and and I couldn't see anything except headlights coming the other way, and it was very stressful, because <laughs> I just see that we're on the left side of the road. I see headlights coming, but it's hard to see which lane they're on, and I eventually just had to, like close my eyes and try to sleep because yeah I was getting really stressed out I should have gone around these rocks twice that would have made this a little bit easier whoops I missed a spot I'm gonna drive around like a crazy person <laughs> We have to get Apache to talk to Alien Jim and tell him to make a dynamite mod so that we can remove boulders. But just remove them individually instead of on the whole map. Oh, you 
kidding me. I can't leave any spots untouched. this whole section here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I, I kinda like I kinda like having the challenge of having having the boulders in the field and having to work around them. But I think it would be good to have the option. Still missed a spot between the boulders. Oh yeah, I see it. We'll go get that. Looks like another spot. Oh, you know what? No, I seeded it. I think that's just a spot where I missed. I missed fertilizer or lime or something. spot that I missed. I'm going to let it go. Oh, that one right there? Yeah, that one tends to get in the way. Yeah, I agree with you, K-Mac. Well, you know, we have the lime factory, so... You know, you could... Um, you could blow up the boulders and then maybe have a... You know, one of those big... Um, one of those big mounted jackhammers, you know? To break them up. Break them up into chunks and then throw it into the into the crusher to make lime out of it. Or just make it in the landscaping and just say, you know, and you can just pay to remove it. And pretend that somebody came and did it for you, you know. go row by row now because it's getting getting pretty tight here Get this last a little bit
Unfortunately, there's no shortcut for activating the GPS steering on the controller, so I have to go to my keyboard every time. Um, and I'm kind of afraid to create a, uh, a controller combination to do that because I don't know what which other one I might be overriding by doing that. spot that I missed. Alright, I'll turn the GPS off now and finish this off. Okay, was that a, like a cow or a bear or something that I heard? I'm not sure what that was supposed to be. A bison maybe? Oh, um, yeah, it, it takes, it takes a little time to learn how to use it, but there's, there's some good tutorials online for it. It's pretty much the same as it was in previous versions of the game, from what I can tell. Okay, we should be done there. Let's take a look. Needs rolling, all right. Okay, let's go get ourselves a roller. And let's roll the seed bed. I'm not sure how much additional yield you get by doing that, but I'm kind of thinking we'll want to maximize it no matter what. Okay, where can I park this guy? I'll save that spot on the end to park my tractor at night. I'll probably need another shed sooner or later. Once we get like the combine and stuff. We're gonna want more storage. We'll just have to figure out a good place to put it. Since space is kind of tight here. Alright, so let's go down to the shop and buy a roller. It is getting late. It's almost... almost 6 o'clock p.m. game time. So I think after we roll that field, we'll... Call it a night and advance to August, or to September, rather. Maybe we'll check on the greenhouse and the chickens real quick, too. Yeah, so I've, I've got 600 grand left in the bank, which sounds like a lot, but I know that getting a harvester and header of decent size is not going to be cheap. And I also need, I'm also going to need a trailer, you know, a grain cart to haul it with. And uh, there's probably one or two other things that I need as well that I haven't thought of yet. All right, let's go see Doris for the 18th time today. Oh, she left. Okay. Well, I'm just going to take a roller, and I'll leave a check here on the counter. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be cool with that. They know where to find me. Okay. Good lord, that's expensive. And that needs 350 horse. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to get the small one. Combinations. Okay. Tells, that tells me that we need a weight. I've already got a weight. 
wheel setup. Do you guys know if the wheel, I mean, as far as I know, the wheel types and stuff don't have, they don't make any difference, right? Those BKT wheels look pretty cool though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Osilas. I'm the only I'm the only game in town right now, so they better they better do what they need to do to make me happy. Of course, I don't have anywhere to <laughs> I don't have anywhere else to go either, so we have a symbiotic relationship. something outside the door. I think my son's getting up. All right. And now I'm down to 566 grand. Um, we do still have the option to take out a loan, I believe. If we need additional cash. Let me see. Um, yeah, we, we don't have any loan right now, so, and I think we can borrow up to 500,000. Plot 60. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, and you know, as we um, as we build new, or as we get into new fields, new portions of land, we're also going to have to build roads. Uh, so that'll be kind of interesting. Yeah, I don't see anything coming out of the greenhouse yet. going to be some expensive oh you mean doing the road yeah probably will be since I don't have the free landscaping tools and I don't think it should be free I mean there would be a real cost in doing that of course I mean for me I'm just going to put I'm just going to make it dirt dirt roads okay let's roll ha 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 Am I going to be able to see where I've been? Yeah, looks kind of sort of like I will be able to. I might have to go north-south just so I can see what parts I've rolled and what parts I haven't. Yeah, that would be cool if you could put in a rail station too. It does look like the roller, it might be my imagination, but it looks like the rolled texture is a little bit sharper than the seated texture. Am I wrong about that? I might be wrong about that. I don't have access to that land. Not yet. I will. I'm going to buy it eventually. Um, let's see. Can we tell the difference? <laughs> yeah, if there's a difference in texture, it's very subtle. 
So I might... I don't know. It looks like the... Yeah, maybe the color is just a little bit lighter or something. I can kind of see it where I rolled and where I haven't. Yeah, okay. You can see it too then. All right. Yeah, it might be kind of hard to figure out what spots we've missed, but we can always look at the map too. That'll help us in case there's spots that we can't see. Yeah, it looks like there's a little there's like a little more contrast in the rolled texture. Like the grooves are maybe a little bit deeper or something like that. Um, but we'll definitely want to finish this while there's still daylight because I think if it's dark, there's not going to be any way for us to tell. The other thing you could do is just hire a worker. The worker will know, but I don't want to do that just yet. I'm not going to use workers until until we get to the point that we're really that we've expanded and we need to work multiple fields at the same time in order to get our jobs done. Okay, thanks to Silas. Catch you later. Usually I play more in like a, uh, a farmer manager style where I use, I use hired workers pretty extensively most of the time when I'm playing, but um, on this map it just feels it just feels right to do most of the work myself. Alright. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Yeah, it's... Well, like we said, it's it's a very subtle difference in texture, but you can see it. And I think too, if I use GPS, it'll it'll make it easier. Yeah, I'm overlapping by a lot here. Let's just get up to the top and then I'll set up the GPS and then it'll be, I think it'll be much easier to make sure that we're not missing anything. At least until we get to where the boulders are. <laughs> yeah, no, me too. Like plowing. <laughs> I almost always use a worker for plowing. It's kind of a drag. Well, that's how it should be, you know. If you got the money, outsource the stuff that you don't like doing. Okay. So let's get lined up, and then we'll set up the GPS. And uh, Prison City, I'll try to explain a little bit how the GPS works while I'm doing this. Kind of a mini tutorial. I'm not going to go really in-depth. But, um, but first of all, before you can use... Uh, the GPS steering, you have to install GPS on your tractor. Okay, so I've already done that. It's a $15,000 add-on. But when you have the mod uh, and you take your vehicle to the shop or when you buy a vehicle, in fact, I can show you. If you go to buy a vehicle, for example, you'll have this option for GPS to add it on. Okay, so you have to have that on to be able to use it. And then you get those uh, those three symbols on the right-hand side. Okay, you have it on yours? Okay. Um, and then you press Alt-C to turn on the system. And Control-S to open up the menu. Right, and then I'll go here and I'll click Auto Width. So that'll set the width to match the width of your tool. You can also change it manually if you want to do that. Um, you can also change the offset so that if you have a tool like a plow, for example, if you have a tool that's not that's not centered along the center line of your vehicle, you can put in the offset. 
um, so that it knows where to missing. Oh, okay, you were missing the control S. Okay, cool. So you, you know the rest of it then, right? Right, and then Alt page up or page down to shift the track. Right, so we'll do it right there. And then Alt X to lock on to the track. Whoop, not so fast. Let's back up. Okay. Yeah, so Alt X locks on, and then you can break the lock by steering manually or by hitting Alt X again. And it'll beep at you when you get close to the end of the field. Um, and there are options for that too. Um, like for how close to the edge you get before it beeps at you. Um, but I haven't really explored those options yet. And there are like headland options. I'm not sure exactly what all that stuff does yet. So I'll need to, at some point I'll have to learn more about it to use all the features. Right, so there's the signal that I'm nearing the edge of the field, and I need to I need to stop browsing Reddit and pay attention. Let's look at, our, look at our field status and make sure this is actually doing something. Oh, okay. All right. So the needs needs rolling is disappearing. That's a good sign. Oh, um, does it move by itself? Yeah. I mean, it wherever your vehicle goes, that's when it. That's when like it moves from one track to the next. It's just based on the position of your vehicle. You don't have to do anything to move it yourself. So like here, once I turn down the hill a little bit, it'll automatically jump over to the next track. Once I get close enough to it. See like that. And then you just lock on to the next track and you're good to go. And then I just turn on my cruise control and let it run. Um, yeah, it does. It does work for field creation. I mean, and that's one of the nice things about it. It works. You can use it anywhere. Right? You don't have to... There's that bear again, or whatever the heck it was. Yeah, you don't have to be on a field or anything to use it. You can use it for any activity you want. So, you have a lot of flexibility. Yeah, so if you want nice, uh, if you want nice rectangular fields, this would be the way to do it. I wonder how much of a yield boost I get for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe it's Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, the weather is really nice, actually. Well, it is August, so the daytime, you know, we'll have more daylight. 
in the summer, so that's why it's it's after 6 p.m. and it's still light out. Uh, that changes in the winter months. As you get later in the year, the days get shorter. Um, and we can check the weather forecast to see if there's going to be any rain coming. Now, um, you know, like I was saying before, to me this map looks a lot like a northern... It looks like Northwest North America. Um, or if this was in Europe, maybe this would be like somewhere in Scandinavia or Northern Europe. Um, but I don't know. I know with the seasons mod in FS19, you could, you could change your latitude. Um, so depending on what the latitude was set at, that would also affect the day-night cycle, right? So if you were far to the north or far to the south, you would have uh, you would have shorter days in the winter and longer days in the summer than if you were, you know, in a more temperate zone. Which I thought was pretty interesting. So now that seasons are built into the game, I don't know if they're if they model latitudes at all. Yeah, this that's what I thought too. I thought this looked kind of like could be Montana or Wyoming or Idaho, something like that, someplace west of the Rockies, and either in the northern U.S. or southern Canada. Oops. Okay. Um, I'm just going to freewheel it over here around these boulders. Actually, let me just make a pass all the way around to give ourselves some clearance clearance. Probably doing horrible damage to my rollers by doing this. Okay. That should be good for that. Whoa. And then I think I missed a little bit here. Yeah. Right, and somebody informed me in the stream yesterday that that only people who don't know anything about farming turn around outside the field. So I'm going to try to... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and like, um, I've seen some... Look, can I get over this? There we go. I've seen some of the YouTubers um, that are playing on this map. Um, they seem to all tend to start by doing forestry. But I wanted to start by not having to add any, any production facilities or additional cell points to the map. Like I just, I kind of wanted to start with what the map, uh, with what the map had on offer and, and build up from that. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, now I need to go this way. And it looks like I left off down here. Yeah, so that's why I decided um, to start with uh, the store buys all the crops except cotton. And they buy, um, they buy eggs and they buy produce. That's what I've heard. I, I haven't I haven't played this map in 19. Um, but yeah, I think I think on 19 it had it had cell points for just about everything at the beginning. And um, I know um, Apache. I, I don't know if you know him, but he's he's one of the guys, one of one of my loyal supporters, uh, who's on our Discord. I think he's 
he's had some communication with the author of the map and let him know that we seem to be missing some stuff. Um, because before I started doing this on stream, I did spend some time on the map on my own. And I started by mowing all the grass and making silage bales, and then I realized that there was no place to sell the bales. <laughs> and so I had to cheat in half a million dollars to put down a biogas plant. And, you know, and I didn't want to have to resort to that kind of thing at the beginning of the game. So we can add that stuff in later as we expand and make money. But for now, we've got to do crops and chickens and produce to make money. Yeah, I mean, and... And, you know, and he thought that he thought that it was probably a, an error that that stuff wasn't included because <clears throat> on this map, it, it does seem like you should be able to start by doing forestry to make money. I mean, there's trees everywhere. So, um, so the fact that you start the map with no cell point for wood doesn't, to me, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But maybe that was intentional. I don't know. I guess the farm shop wouldn't necessarily want to buy wood. Right? But maybe you could add in, like, you know... I mean, a place like this... You would probably have people with... Uh, you know, with uh, cottages... So that they can come up and get away from the city or do some hunting or whatever. So it seems like at a minimum you could sell firewood, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they do buy wood chips, actually, now that you mention that. Okay, yeah, you don't start with a chipper on this one. Okay, let's see if we... Whoops. Let's see if we hit everything. Alright, looks like I missed a few spots around the boulder, so let's go over there and see if I can clean that up. It's going to be hard to see. over here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and then there was a bigger spot over here. It takes a couple seconds for this thing to lower. I think I moved away before it was ready. Okay, well I think that's... Oh, and there's another big spot down there in the other corner. Oh, that's cool. spot should be dead ahead. It's right in front of me, but it's hard to see. I'll just 
Let's lower it and drive straight. I think it's right there where I'm driving over right now. Okay. I think we'll consider that to be good enough. Okay, let's put things away and um, we'll go check on the animals in the greenhouse. Uh, I'm gonna have to park this out in the open, I guess. I don't have quite enough room, whoops, in the shed. Okay, so let's see how our greenhouse and chickens are doing. Okay, we currently have 261 liters of tomatoes. Nothing has appeared outside yet. I guess we have to hit a certain threshold before that occurs. We already have some eggs. And no reproduction yet. And it looks like it looks like they may be running low on food. Oh no, they got plenty of food. No reproduction yet. I guess they have to work their way up to 100% health before they start reproducing, or maybe it's seasonal. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Lanesta. All right, you guys want to see my house? Did I put this thing in backwards? Okay, no, I didn't. That is the front door. There we go. All right, well, come on in. Make yourself at home. <laughs> you can sleep on the couch. Feel free to take a bath if you'd like. He's a gamer. Change game cartridge. What? Oh, no cartridges available. <laughs> what a drag. Oh, what's up here? Ah, what's this? Is there anything I can take up here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Well... Let's go to sleep. Um, we'll get up at 7 a.m. Yeah, we're going to need to fix the place up a little bit. Okay. Welcome to September, everybody. What's this? Oh, okay. Lights on, lights off. Oh, I wonder if there's anything on the tube. No. Alright. Close the door. So nobody can see my crappy home. Ah, okay. We have our first pallet of tomatoes. Uh, we've got 400 kilograms, 500 liters. Let's see what tomatoes are selling for these days. $13.50.
1393, and I think that's per thousand liters, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, well, we're making some money. Not a lot, but we're getting there. Let's go check on the chickens. Okay, still only 21 chickens. How are we doing on eggs? Not too many. Are they any healthier now? Yes, okay. All right, so they're at 100% productivity and 50% reproduction. I don't know if that means that they, they don't reproduce until they get to 100 or if they just do it slowly until then, but I'm gonna leave them alone so that they can, you know, get down to business. All right. Let's take a look at North Field, and we can see that our canola has sprouted. And we're probably going to get some weeds popping up soon. Oh, this looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yield bonus, 97%. Okay. So I'm missing a couple percent from something. Who knows what. But anyway, that is a nice looking field. Oh, um, yeah, Lanesta, you can, well, no, you can, it doesn't change all the units. Um, everything that you buy and use is still in liters. <clears throat> okay, so today, or let's say this month in September, we're gonna plant barley. So let's do that. We'll plant the barley and then we're gonna roll that field. And then we're gonna start to progress through the year a bit faster now since there won't be quite as much to do. So let's grab our cedar. All right, and we wanna change this to Barley. I think that's it. Is that barley? Yeah. And this field won't take long at all. In fact, I, I, I'm not even going to use GPS on this field. We'll just do it manually. I'm going to turn the cedar on. Lower. And off we go. And if this is like previous versions of the game, which I expect it is, um, different crops use different amounts of seed. This is not the most friendly portion of field to work. Oh, <laughs> thought I was going to run it over. Well, I appreciate your confidence.
Oh, really? Okay. Well, that's good to know. So when we do cows, maybe, maybe I'll just put it right on top of this field. Well, that's good to know. Actually, you know what, I was, well, I was talking about weeds a little bit earlier. Um, I'm wondering whether weeds would even turn up at this time of year. Alright, since they're not on the field right now, that means that they probably wouldn't pop up until October, maybe, but I don't recall now whether the game... Uh, we'll have weeds come up in the later months. We'll, we'll see. If you plow, they don't show up. Okay, well, we did do that. Yeah, it would be nice if I didn't have to deal with weeds. Give me more time before I need to buy a sprayer. And the herbicide is not cheap either. In fact, I wonder, because weeds weeds decrease your yield. I wonder if the expense of the herbicide is even worth it. That would be something that's would be interesting to look at. So you just spray, you just spray herbicide as part of your field preparation routine, rather than wait for them to show up. That's probably a good idea. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll do that today then, or this month, rather. Sorry, I need to stop speaking in terms of days. Okay. So now we got the barley planted, and we're done seeding for the year. So let's let's wash the cedar off, and then we'll go park it.
Oh, okay. All right. So since I plowed everything, I won't have to. I won't have to worry about weeds this year. Maybe just next year. Makes sense. need to roll and then we're pretty much done although let me check I might need more fertilizer on this field yeah I think we're gonna need I think we're gonna need more fertilizer on this field um, I'm not sure if I can apply fertilizer after rolling I think I should be able to so let's roll it and then see if see if it'll take fertilizer right after that. Um, do you need to row, or do you need to, do you need to roll row crops? Like corn? I'm guessing maybe not. I'm guessing that this is beneficial because it pushes the seeds down or compresses the soil a little bit on top of the seeds or something. Oh, okay. But you wouldn't do it like for potatoes, right? Whoops. Come on. 
<laughs> Stupid boulder. Oh, you do it in game for potatoes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because I know with, you know, with potatoes, you go through a lot of trouble building those um, those raised furrows. And I, I doubt you would want to crush them with your roller. <laughs> a little bit left. see if we'll see if we can put fertilizer down that that was terrible let's do this again hey there's a deer all right that's a little better remember that this thing has like a massive range now. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Huh, except they're on the very edge. Well, I guess it's only going down in the spots where it was short. So that should fill in all those little gaps in fertilization coverage. It's amazing how the fertilizer knows like exactly which little dots to fill in. I got the smart fertilizer. And then hopefully when we're done with this it'll just be a nice solid blue on this field. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. 
There we go. Now I've also got that little part of it that's mulched. Um, let's turn off mulched. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't think I'm going to go over this field again. I mean, I, I do have a lot of little, little missed bits. Um, but I'm not going to bother with it. I think we're good. So now we'll put this away. And then we'll decide what to do with the rest of our time. I suppose at this point we could advance to the next month. I'm not going to bother taking... Uh... Come on. Come on. There we go. I'm not going to bother taking eggs and stuff uh, until we have... Uh, enough to fill a trailer. Uh, which we will need to buy, by the way. We'll need to buy a flatbed trailer sometime soon. But yeah, I think we're, I mean, I think we're pretty much done now. And uh, we just need to wait for things to grow. Alright. So let's see where we're at. Early growth phase, right? So if we look at the calendar, uh, the barley will be ready to harvest in June. And the canola will, oh, I'm sorry. Barley will be, yeah, barley will be ready to harvest in June and canola will be ready to harvest in July. So um, between now and then, We'll look after our animals and our greenhouse. Let's take a look here. Okay, yeah, that's just what we've had since since yesterday. Um, still got plenty of food. All right, so let's. We're gonna game for the rest of the day on our console. No, just kidding. Let's uh, let's advance to October. We'll wake up at eight. Oh, it's still September. Oh, <laughs> I slept until eight, same day. There we go. It wasn't eight o'clock yet. maintenance is coming from. Must be from that silly shack. Okay, well we got an oh we got more tomatoes. Um yeah and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to load these from the edge. I might have a problem here. Alright, so that's four hundred, that's four hundred. Alright, so it looks like these come out in four hundreds. And I imagine that once this gets full, I'll need to clear those pallets out. So we'll probably need to do that before too long. Looks like we're going to have rain today. I'll go ahead and speed up the, t speed up the clock. What the heck was that? Okay, we got some growth here. Um, I think we're probably still at the same... Oh no, okay, we actually did advance. Oh, it looks like the growth phases are much more... There's not just three of them anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like there's eight growth stages now, judging by the colors. Okay, yeah, and no weeds, like you said. How are we doing chickens? Ah, now we have 30 chickens. 
Awesome. I wonder if we should add more. Where am I going? Here we go. Maybe we should consider expanding our chicken operation. Since they're reproducing now, we can move a few of them to another pen. Um, I don't own this field yet. So if I wanted to have another pen, Actually, I'm thinking if I build another one, I might want to do the big kind. Yeah, that one holds 360. Yeah, and this is actually not a whole lot bigger than this one. If I have a good place to put it. Eh, not really. Alright, how about here? Yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna work. Maybe I should just buy the land. And then it will be owned by me. Let's buy it. Okay. See, now I'm getting to where I'm probably going to have to borrow money to get my, uh, to get my harvester and stuff. Let's see, let's see how much we're going to need to set aside for a decent sized harvester. Oh, okay. The Rotzel Mash is pretty cheap. Uh, it's also pretty small. So I'm thinking we'll want to start with one of the mid-range options. Like the New Holland or the Deer. How big of a header can I get on that? Eight and a half meters. That's not terribly big. Uh, not bad though. Let's check this one. 7.6. All right, so from these two, I would probably go with the New Holland. And then the next step up would be that case, seven and a half meters. Right, and then we got all the big boys, which are much more expensive. So, so if we budget, let's see, 265 for the harvester, another 48. So we'll need we'll need about 350 grand to get the harvester, and then we'll need a tipper, right? A green cart, something of a decent size yeah so maybe another 30 40 grand for the tipper yeah and and I'm thinking for the tipper it would be good to have one that can hold two full loads from the harvester so something around 20,000 cubic meters would do the trick something like that one Huh, and you can use that to spread manure too. Isn't that interesting? Okay. So, yeah, so we're gonna need about 400 grand for the harvesting. So, that means that I can spend money on another, on a big chicken coop. Oh, okay. All right, 
right, so the pallets come out on that side. And the water and the grain, or the grain, I guess, goes on the other side. So I could put it, I could put it right here next to this one. Ah, lesson learned. I need to leave room to get in there to pick up the pallets, right? All right, so let's do this. Um, okay, so that's about road size. So let's make let's make it like enough space. Uh, like two road widths in between my two chicken coops here. And that way, that should give me enough room to get in there and move, maneuver and pick up pallets. Or maybe we'll even do three. I've got space now, so. Okay. So we could do it like that. Try to make it roughly the same amount of space in front next to the road. Okay. That looks good. this area be dirt as well. Got a little room around here to put in the feed. Yeah, and then the rest of that I think is good. Um, and then we can move, we'll move a few chickens from here over to here and uh, we'll let them start to populate that one. So let's get the chicken feed and put it in there, in the, the second one. Ooh, yeah, and I'm almost out of money, right? I said I need, I need to set aside 400K for the harvester. I don't wanna buy it just yet because I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to start buying or I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to have to start losing uh, maintenance on the equipment if I'm not even using it yet. Yeah, how to transfer chickens? That's the real. I guess that'll be the real trick. Um. Okay. Yeah, I need my front loader, and then I need to come back. Well, I can probably use my pallet forks for. Uh, for picking up those bags. We'll see. Now I know there's a mod, at least one mod for an animal trailer. I don't know if any of the... I don't know if any of the mods will allow you to move chickens though. that this one 
probably holds a lot more. Uh, okay, it doesn't tell me, it doesn't tell me how much it holds. And even if I can move the chickens, I don't know if the health of the chickens is preserved. So, we'll have to mess around with that. Okay, I'm gonna want this feed too. Oops. There's no way to transport chickens. Okay, so I might just have to buy new chickens then for this one and wait for them to get healthy. That's too bad. I think you should be able to to at least move them between your buildings. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. Um, yeah, like I said, I did see a, a transport trailer on Mod Hub, but uh, maybe that doesn't take care of chickens. Let's see. Of course, I don't want to buy a trailer just to do that. Animal transport. Horses, horses, cows, pigs, sheep. Cows, pigs, sheep. Yep, no chickens. Okay. Well, then uh, we'll just have to buy this one. Or um, buy some animals. Um, so I think we'll just do the same that we did on the other one. 20 chickens is 120 bucks. All right. Well, let's just buy $1,000 worth of chickens. And then we'll buy a rooster. Now, I don't know if roosters... I heard somewhere that... Oh. I can only buy 60. Why? Hmm. Or maybe you can only move 60 at a time. Oh, those are baby chickens. I don't want baby chickens. I want grown chickens. All right. All right, 20 chickens, just like we did with the other one. Yeah, so I heard that, um, oh, you can sell the chickens too, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know if you really need a rooster or not. They liven up your chicken coop. Okay. Well, let's put three roosters in there. And let's look at this one. Okay, so I've got... I've got some young chickens, I have some old chickens, and it doesn't tell me how much of each. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's not real clear to me what the relationship is between the number of roosters and the reproductive rate and so forth. Um, Oh, okay. All right, there we go. All right. Oh, okay. 
So you can sell the chickens for meat as well, right? So like these, these chickens are worth 25 bucks and these chickens, chickens are only worth 11. And I assume that that's due to the, the health. Okay. Muy interesante. Okay. Um, well, let's do this. I'm going to need more feed. I think I'm going to need to sell that greenhouse and move it. Um, because... Um, because I wasn't using my brain properly. And I'm not going to be able to... I'm going to have a hard time picking up those pallets. So I think once... Um, I think once our output gets full here, I'm... I think I'll just sell the greenhouse and then I'll build another one or another two somewhere in a different orientation. Roosters don't matter in births. Okay. So they don't do anything? I mean, if they don't matter in births. Actually, let's... Um, let me keep the forks over here. Because this is where I'm going to need them. Okay, they just look good. All right, well. All right, so I'm going to get the pallet bags, or the seed bags. The seed bag lifter. I can squeeze in there. Like a glove. And then what I want to do is go to the shop and load up a bunch of bags. Not a whole bunch, but let's load up a few bags on a trailer bring it back to the farm. Yeah, thank you. So, we'll buy ourselves a small a small flatbed trailer that we can use for bringing, you know, fertilizer and seeds and stuff from the shop. I do that, I think I'm going to call it a day. Looks like we're going to have rain today. Oh yeah, you're right. They actually, they actually work. That's cool. Ah, now it's raining. Uh, which items are you talking about? Well, hopefully that'll clean up my tractor. Hey Doris, you're here early. No, it's not early. Okay, um, chicken feed, otherwise known as wheat. I don't know how many I need to get through the winter. We'll just buy six. need a little trailer. Do they have flatbeds in a separate category?
No, I guess that'll just be under trailers then. Okay. Um, I think this one can be made into a flatbed. I don't know how much that's going to hold. Let's see if there's a bigger one. Well, the bigger ones are... Okay, let's check this one. No. Um, okay, let's look in miscellaneous. Ah, here we go. That's a nice little flat bed, and it looks like you can also load equipment onto it. And this one, it looks like you can actually pull with the pickup truck. In fact, it looks like it's meant for the pickup truck um, because of the height of that tow bar. That's in a refrigerated trailer, which I think is for produce. As is this one. Um, yeah, I think I'll just go with the first option. Or what about the uh, what about the bale trailers? Let's see mowers, balers. Yeah, like this, for example. I mean, that one says it's for bales, but I suppose I could use it for anything, right? That one is pretty large. So is that one. Uh, all right. I think I'll just go with the... I'll just go with this one. And we can always use it to cart grain. Later on, we can convert it to cart grain, which would be good, you know, just to get grain from the silo to the chickens. Yeah, so I'll buy this one. Oh wait, what's wheel set up? That's as good a place as any for the trailer. Okay, so we got our seeds. This is not going to hold that many. the other one.
Huh. That's going to make things a little tricky, isn't it? Whoops. <laughs> Okay, so I guess it'll be better if I just do these one at a time. Since you can't unload two at a time. I should have just gotten the single one. I mean, I guess doing two at a time is good for uh, for when you want to empty them out, but for loading it seems like one at a time is actually going to be easier. Let's see if I can push this one. Yeah, there we go. down. Alright, not yet. Alright, let's load one more bag of seed and then we'll put uh, chicken stuff on the other part of it. going to want to attach. Watch, it's going to want to attach the other bag rather than letting me drop off this one. How much you want to bet? Yep. See if I can get outside of attach range and still get it on the trailer. All right, well, this is a royal pain in the butt, guys. I, I regret doing this already. and tension belt. How? Which button? Oh, of course. Push the stick down. That's, that was my next guess. Alright.
So yeah, I think in the future we'll go to, uh, we'll use forklifts instead. We'll use regular pallets. I already bought these bags, so we'll continue using them, but yeah, next time we'll do, we'll do the pallets instead. And of course next season I won't have to buy the chicken feed anymore, I'll be able to use my barley for that. Oops. Guess that's the plan. Better slow the clock down. Oh, they use forks to move the bags. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, you use the, yeah, the forks to pick the bags up instead of this silly thing. Yeah, that would be easier. Yeah. So I can do bags, but yeah, we'll use, uh, we'll use the forks next time. Okay, I think that's good. Like I said, I think I think the bag handler, the double bag handler is good for, well, even unloading, I guess. You might as well just use the forks, yeah. Should I just sell this? Yeah, let's just go ahead and sell that while we're here. Hope all this stuff stays on here. Now my next question is, if I pull the trailer up next to the chicken coop, can I drop the feed in there automatically? Do I have to pick up the bags and put them next to it? We'll find out. Anyway, it's not its not terribly hard moving the bags, but um, I was just getting upset with the, the finicky nature of the, of the bag forks or whatever you call those things. The bag lifter. Let's see what happens if we just drive up next to it with these bags of feed. Ah, there we go. That saves time. Alright, now we just need to flip it over to the other side. Well, and now we have three parcels of land to work, so um, I think actually we can get pretty busy in the winter making fields. the seed. Um, 
did I? Where did I put the extra lime? I don't remember where I dropped that off. <laughs> okay. I did have extra lime, right? Hmm. I don't remember where that ended up. Because I know I emptied out some lime to put fertilizer in my tipper. Hmm. Okay. Well... I'll put the seed bags over here somewhere. Let's remove the strap. Let's be careful not to drive on the field. This might be able to this might be easier from this view, actually. If I can get four. Um, all right. No. Isn't there a way to spread the forks? Let's just do two. I don't want to tip myself over. I'm almost done. Somebody's looking for me. We'll get this done and then I'm going to have to call it. Okay. Off you go. Yeah, that is easier. <laughs> You know what I miss? In FS19, I was like, I had these auto loading trailers <laughs> where you just pull the trailer up and you push a button and everything next to it gets loaded onto the trailer automatically. That's what I really want. Come on, get on there. Yeah, gotcha. Let's get this trailer out of the way, and then we'll park. Alright, that'll be as good a place as any. So I have more sheds. All 
All right, one pallet left to go there. Starting to see a few eggs over here. All right. Time to go night night. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you probably Wednesday night. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see how things go. Thanks, everybody. And, uh, See you all next time. Take care.